Ladies and gentlemen, man, happy holidays. I'm back. Give this thing a thumbs up, man. Let's get a little groove going. I appreciate all the support, all the, the nice comments. Um, Instagram, YouTube, Son of Mike, you guys have been really cool lately, so I do appreciate it. And I want to talk about, you know, the truth about getting strong and what it really takes to get strong. And I've gone over in the past a million variations, um, a million programming tips, um, a million frequency and, and, and lifting technique tips on ways to dial in your form. But the truth is, um, well, one truth that no one wants to know or, or, or talk about, probably my favorite tweet of all time, if I have to toot toot my own horn, is that the truth is, is talent does beat hard work. And it may piss some of you guys off, and you can go chatter in the, the comments below if that hurts your little fragile ego, that you think you can outwork someone and end up being LeBron James, but that's just not the truth. You know, epigenetics, talent itself, what our bodies are capable of, especially in a sport like powerlifting, where it's just so dependent on tendons, ligaments, bones, uh, body structure, muscle potential, neuromuscular firing potential. Um, all these things play such a role that you can't like outskill it. Now, if we're talking about golf, we're talking about ping pong, there's a genetic component and like a skill component. And I'm not saying there's no skill in lifting, obviously there is, but on the scale of soccer, basketball, et cetera, you know, the pure genetics take over. But the truth is, that doesn't really matter because we don't know our potential until we dive in. And the truth about getting strong is that there's one factor and one factor alone, and that's consistency. Um, someone, you know, tagged me or reposted me in something saying, man, I admire Mike because he's, he's an average dude, which I took f offense to, you know? I'm, I'm a freak athlete. I'm not the freakiest. I'm not LeBron James, but I'm a good athlete. Jokes aside, I'm, I'm above average athletes. Um, you know, I was, I was grabbing rim, hanging on a basketball rim in, in eighth grade. You know, I was 5'8", uh, hanging on the rims, not normal. That's not average. Um, so I'm a pretty good athlete. Now, I'm, I would say I'm an average, just above average strength athlete. But the truth of lifting, in his repost was basically saying like, damn, Mike's pulled 705. He's just lifted for a very long time and consistently, consistency, and that's what got him there. And he's not wrong. I lifted very stupid for five years, still pulled 600 plus. Um, I, I had to dial in my programming and my technique a little bit to get to that 700, but the only thing that's gotten me there is lifting, deadlifting once or twice a week for going now on, I'm 33. O over 14 years, 15 years. I've been bench pressing since eighth grade. And I've been squat bench and deadlifting. Besides the one year off I took about, what we talked about in the last video, since I was 18, 19. So I just haven't stopped. Um, and do I do everything perfectly? No. Do I do programming perfectly, sleep perfectly, diet? Not even close. I'm the furthest thing from perfect. and I'm not what you should look like or look at if that's what you need for motivation. But um, I'm pretty realistic, yet I'm pretty consistent. Um, and that's what it takes on YouTube. I've had recent conversations with people on TikTok, Twitch streaming, um, building a business. The number one factor is I would rather have seven out of 10 days or even five out of 10 days. Let me rephrase that. I would rather have a five out of 10 workout, meaning middle of the road workout or middle of the word effort, middle of the road um, um, uh, uh, day, but do it every single day then have a 10 out of a 10 workout on a Monday and not train for three weeks. You're gonna be way better off having a decent workout, a solid workout, just getting something done. And that's the same with work, business, effort and consistency will take you a long time. And when I say effort, I don't mean it's gotta be balls to the wall every time because you will burn out physically and mentally. Um, that just popped in my head. We're doing a Q&A on Instagram, a lot of questions around that uh, and, and the shout out for my guys. So I appreciate you guys. The truth about strength is genetics are gonna uh, rule all whether you wanna admit it or not. And we got to get better. We got to get consistent, and we got to get we got to get as uh, uh, disciplined as we can. We got to get better. We got to be consistent. We got to be dedicated, fam. So day after day, let's get it done. I appreciate you, man. I'm excited. I got goals. Maybe we'll talk goals in an upcoming podcast. Uh, Fifty percent facts. New podcast out. Three sb.co for all your clothing. Sell Mike. I'm out. <laughs>